Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another DIY tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make this top. This is a garterized peplum top, I think. I don't really know what it's called. Basta ganun yung itsura niya. Garterized dito and then parang pa peplum siya sa baba. Ganun. So this top is super easy to make. It's one of the easiest top I've made so far. And I'm really happy how it turned out actually. See? Again, so without further ado, before we get started, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos and let's get started. So to make this top, you will need two pieces of fabric. One is going to be our main fabric and then the other is going to be our lining. Um, this is a satin fabric, not really sure what kind, but it's quite thick. Not that much, hindi siya katulad ng Charmos. And it's not like that just sa tin na sobrang kapal. So I'm not really sure. Parang in between siya ng ganun dalawa. So, this is 40 inches wide. Ayan siya. And 15 inches long. So, ayan yung measurement ng ating two pieces of fabric. You will also need two garters. I have here 25 inches long and the other one is 30 inches long. So one is for the top, for the bust area, and then the other one is for the waist. So to start off, we are going to put our two pieces of fabric together, right sides together, and sew along the seam allowance over here. And ito, I already drew it. And so we're just gonna pin this in place and sew it together. So we have already sewn our top together. By the way, I left a small gap over here, like 5 inches. But uh, we can still flip our top right side out. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out the corners of our top. All of the corners, all four corners, we're going to cut them off. But kapag na flip na natin siya right side out, it's gonna be pointy at the edge. So this is what it looks like after we flipped it right side out. As you can see, it's a bit bubbly pa. Medyo nagpa puff up siya. So we have to iron this flat. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. Now this is what it looks like after we've ironed it. Ayan na siya guys. Flat na siya. Ayan. Ayan. So that's what it looks like. So now we are going to draw on lines on the top. And also at the bottom, that's gonna be the casing for our garter. So these are the lines that I drew. For the top part, I couldn't decide if I wanted to make it an inch and a half or two inches thick. So yeah, I'm still deciding on it. And then at the bottom, I decided to make it three inches. So this one, this is half an inch. That's gonna be the casing for our garter. This is the three inch line and this is the two and a half inch line. That's the casing. And then, ito nga, sa taas. On the top, we have the 1 inch line, 1 and a half inch line, and the 2 inches line. So, I'm still deciding if I wanted to make it 1 and a half inch or 2 inches. So, what you're gonna do is you want to make a straight stitch along the lines that you made. And that's gonna be the casing for our garter.
So this is our top. We already sewed on the straight stitch for our casing. I did the one and a half inch instead of the two inches because um, I think two inches is a bit big for the ruffles for this top. So yeah, I did the one and a half inch. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. This is three inches. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to seam rip this one over here um, between the two stitches, this one. We're going to seam rip this one and also the other end over here. And then we're going to fish through our garter inside that hole. So this is our casing. We made a hole on this side and also on the other side over here. And so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your garter and then fish it through inside that hole. So for the garter, you need to pin a safety pin on the end and then fish it through the hole like so. So once you got most of the elastic inside the casing, you need to pin one end so that it wouldn't come off. And then continue with the fishing of the elastic until you reach the other end. That's it. We are already at the other end. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pin it so that it wouldn't come off. And then you're going to sew to keep it in place. Now this is what our top looks like after we fish through our garter and so this is the bottom and this is the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take both ends and fold it in half like so. And then we're going to sew on this side as close to the edge as possible. So this is our top after we've sewn it together. Ayan siya. So now we're going to flip it right side out. And this is what it looks like. This is gonna be the back part of our top. Now we're gonna move on to the straps. Okay guys, a little update. I made the top shorter. It was 15 inches before, now it's 12 inches. I took out 3 inches from the top over here and made it shorter simply because I didn't like how it looked when I tried it on. It was too big. And 12 inches is the right size for me. Any shorter than that, my mom's gonna kill me. So, ayon. Papagalitan ako ni mama pag mas may kilipa sa 12 inches tong damit ko. So, hanggang 12 inches lang tayo, guys. So, over here, we have some fabric to make our strap. This is 1 inch thick and 20 inches long. So, I'm gonna cut it into 2. So, that's gonna be 2 10 inches straps. So, this is our strap. I just folded it like this. Ayan siya. Ayan. Like that. And then on the center, like this. So what you're gonna do is you're going to sew along the edges over here as close as possible to the edge. So this is our strap after we've sewn it. Ayan na siya. Ayan. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to connect this to our top. We're going to sew this onto the garter over here. Diyan. And then also at the back side over here. Para hindi halata yung ating um, tahe sa ating strap. And that's it! Our top is done! I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's really cute. Now we're just gonna go and wash this and then move on to our try-on portion. So this is what our top looks like. Ayan siya guys. As you can see, the garter is over here and also over here. Ayan siya. And it's 
puppy. And this is the side. And this is the back. So that is it for our tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you learned a lot from watching this video. And this top is super easy to make. And lakas yung makasosyal actually. Kung titignan mo siya, parang ang social niya tignan. For me ah, ang social niya tignan. So yeah, for those of you who have suggestions or recommendations on what I should do next, just comment them down below or message me personally on my account on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So yeah, that's it for our video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you do, please hit like. Also, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!